new CPUs can only be a good thing and Intel Elder Lake is around the corner and hopefully we as gamers will finally benefit from some better pricing maybe both from AMD and from Intel so I'm excited for that but before we get into today's video maybe hit a like button if you like what you see and remember to subscribe if you haven't yet it is no secret that Intel has been struggling for years on 14 nanometer processors finally they're able to break the chain and go to 10 nanometers with the intel alder lake cpus which means we will get a new series motherboards the 600 series motherboards which will be cool because we are finally getting some great features from the lga 1700 socket which these alder lake cpus will be running in this will be the 12th generation cpu from intel and we will be seeing, well, the biggest improvements or the biggest advancements in technology that we will get is DDR5 and PCI Express Gen 5. That is awesome. Above that, or on top of that, we will also see an increase in CPU size, which is always great. I love those big epic AMD CPUs. It just looks epic. And then on the Intel side, here you can see the Comet Lake CPU, quite square. And then the Alder Lake CPUs are a little bit longer or taller, depending on what way you want to look at it, or higher even. And yeah, that just makes me very excited to see finally we are getting CPUs that at least look a little bit different than their 14 nanometer predecessors. Seeing that Alder Lake is about four months out, it's very strange to start seeing a recommended cpu cooler for it with up to 125 watt cooling performance this all seems like marketing mumbo jumbo from dynatron cpu coolers i mean these guys i don't really know much about them maybe if you do hit me up in the comments down below i would love to find out who these guys are they've probably been around for long they probably do a lot of oem stuff but i mean this design is nothing special when it comes to a recommended CPU cooler for Elder Lake. I mean, this basically looks like your straightforward entry-level CPU cooler. It's got one, two, three, four copper heat pipes going up in the same design with all these fins and one fan on the one side of it. You can probably do a push-pull configuration by adding another fan. Nothing special. The only thing I really don't like is this mechanism with the springs and screws. Not great. Which tells me that even if it's recommended for Elder Lake, you will probably not buy any of these coolers for Elder Lake. You'll probably get something decent from either like Cooler Master or Corsair or an AIO in closed water closed loop water cooling instead to be honest these cpu coolers are just plain ugly i mean look at this tiny little one this is something that you'll find in server environments it's not really great i remember having an x99 setup uh, with one of these little coolers and the fans are just so loud it's such a small fan because this is a new socket unfortunately your existing cpu cooler won't fit at all i mean if you look at this here the distance will be completely different we saw the cpu is actually a little bit taller instead of the the square so your cpu cooler just won't fit i don't know if some manufacturers might actually just include some new back plates or with the adjustable brackets i somehow doubt that and it will be extreme cases for that the best thing to do is probably just to buy a cpu cooler new that is designed around the lga 1700 socket but please don't let it be this thing because it's absolutely ugly i mean sure it looks standard and you're probably going to spend all your money on the cpu just try and get something nicer please so hopefully Alder Lake will be bringing us a little bit closer to what AMD has offered us with Zen 3. That would be great for all of us gamers and enthusiasts and just normal users so that we can actually get a little bit more bang for buck. Competition is always good for us. So if you've liked this video, remember to hit that button and I will see you guys in the next one.